Hello everyone, this is Adel from Oza Engineering. In this video, I'll give you an overview of wireless power transfer and specific absorption rate simulation in SSHFSS. In this example, a wireless power transfer system operating at 15 MHz is simulated with the ANSYS head model. Here we have two coils, a transmitter which is external, and a receiver which is implanted in the head. Simulating the transmitter or receiver coil by itself in HFSS helps determine its inductance, which is used to calculate the necessary capacitance to achieve resonance at the desired operating frequency. This is the transmitter by itself. It consists of this copper coil, a substrate, a ferrite layer, and a copper layer. If we go to the project manager, we can see the applied boundary conditions. Here we have a radiation boundary condition applied to the airbox. And for the excitation, a 50 ohm circuit port was used. Now, if I go to results and right click, we can select output variables and create a new output variable. Here I added the expression for the inductance in microhenries to plot it. Here we have the inductance plot and we have an inductance of 0.238 microhenries at 15 megahertz. We can also plot the coil self resonance, which is shown here you can see that the coil's self-resonance is around 100 MHz, which is higher than the desired operating frequency. Once the HFSS simulation of the coil is complete, it is linked to a circuit where tuning capacitors are added and tuned to achieve resonance at 15 MHz. So here I added two tuning capacitors and I tuned them using the tuning feature in circuit and here you can see the return loss, uh, which is better than minus 30 dB at 15 megahertz. Going back to the full HFSS model, a similar coil was used for the receiver with the addition of a plastic enclosure. If we look at the simulation setup, we have a radiation boundary condition applied to the airbox and for the excitation circuit ports are used. This is port 1 and port 2. Here's the simulation setup. The model is first simulated in HFSS and then dynamically linked to circuit where tuning capacitors are added to the design. So if I go to circuit this is the circuit schematic with the tuned capacitors. We have a good resonance at 15 megahertz, a return loss better than minus 19 dB, and an insertion loss of uh, minus 0.75 dB, which corresponds to an efficiency of 84%. Co-simulation allows the circuit model to control excitations for post-processing of the EM solution. To set 1 watt of input power in HFSS with a 50 ohm load, we need to set the AC mag in the voltage source properties of port 1 to 20 volts. This is based on the relationship VA equals square root of 8 times P max times R. So if I double click on port 1 and go to edit sources, edit properties, you can see that AC mag is set to 20 volts. And after solving the model to push excitations, we right click on the model and click push excitations. Once the updated excitation is pushed back to HVSS, the SAR maximum value and distribution can be calculated. First, an object list is created. Here under lists, you can see object list one uh, that I created and which includes the skin and the skull objects. 
Now, if I go to Field Overlays, right click on it and go to SAR Settings, you can see that I selected that object list. And here the SAR averaged over one gram of tissue is calculated using the recommended IEC REEE method. We can also check the input power through the Edit Sources window. So here you can see that uh, our input power is one watt. Now if I go back to the SAR results and double click on it, you can see our SAR distribution and maximum value. Here with one watt of input power and one gram of tissue mass, the simulated SAR maximum value is 0.4 watts per kilogram. This corresponds to an input power of 4 watts to achieve the US limit of 1.6 watts per kilogram. Similarly, we can plot the SAR averaged over 10 grams. The simulated SAR maximum value is 0.082 watts per kilogram, which corresponds to an input power of 24.4 watts to achieve the European limit of 2 watts per kilogram. This concludes this overview. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you.